I feel like your AI generated text is missing the human touch. In this video, I'll show you how to make your text sound less like AI. First, I'll tell you how to identify the telltale signs of AI generated text. Then you'll learn how to determine your tone and train ChatGPT how to use it. Next, I'll share the secret series of documents that ChatGPT needs to sound just like you. Finally, you'll learn how to use feedback to shape your GPT, which is like a bot or chat. <laughs> All right, first, the telltale signs of AI-generated copy. First, it's gonna use common words, the words that you see popping up every time you ask it to create something. For me, usually that's dive, delve, treasure trove, unleash, unlock, pretty much the words that you see popping up into your inbox all the time. Those are the words that sound like ChatGPT. If you really wanna make sure it's a ChatGPT overused word, start looking at the content that it's creating and you can even print some of it out and circle the words that you're seeing multiple times. That's gonna be the AI generated copy that sounds like AI. You might also see it saying things like, it's not just a blank, it's also blank. Or it's not just this, it's this instead. Or it's more than this, it's also this. Those things are things we see a lot, and the reason we're seeing it is because that's the kind of stuff that's been fed into ChatGPT. It's common copy practice to use that, but it's not always the best copy practice. And so we want to avoid that, and that's coming from a copywriter. We wanna avoid some of those common phrases that really don't tell us much of anything. For example, if I said, this is more than just a doctor's visit, it's an experience. What does that even mean? Nobody knows. And so when you see ChatGPT saying that, you can say that exact phrase. What does this mean? Nobody talks like this. It's gonna give it an idea of what you do and don't want in your copy. If you find yourself reading the sales page and you're more confused at the end about what the offer actually is, chances are they're using AI generated copy and not doing it super well. It's great to use AI generated copy. As a copywriter, I encourage it. And we also need to add in copywriting best practices so that it doesn't sound like ChatGPT, and more importantly, so that people aren't tuning out when they see specific words or phrases that are common ChatGPT words and phrases. Even if you're using Claude, we still wanna be looking for those key words and phrases that will cause people to tune out. So how do you get ChatGPT to actually use your voice and your tone? There's two ways. One is to upload a transcript. This is going to give it a much better idea of how you normally converse how you normally talk on a daily basis, and then write like you talk. Typically, we find the more conversational you are, the more you write like you talk, as long as that aligns with your brand voice, the easier it is for people reading your emails, reading your copy, to say yes to buying from you. How many times have you gotten an email from somebody and it sounded very robotic, it sounded very professional, and also so boring? There's so many people selling something similar to what you're selling, solving a problem similar to the problem that you're solving, so how can you stand out? It's by sounding like a human, using your voice. And you can still do that with the help of AI. Add in your transcript and you'll be surprised at how much better AI writes like you. You can also get your text to sound less like AI by giving it feedback, what you like, what you don't like, what sounds like you, what doesn't, and then examples of what you would change. There's also a secret series of documents you can upload that's going to help a ton. You ready to write this down? Secret document number one, that's your audience document. This is the people who you are trying to speak to, the people whose hearts you wanna move, whose minds you want to explode, <laughs> I guess, whatever. Um, but these are the people that you're talking to. That's the first document. The second document is gonna be your brand voice. This is how you talk. This is how your brand talks in your videos, in your emails, in your social posts, in your blog posts. This is how you speak to your audience. This is how you speak about your audience. This is how you speak about your offers. The next secret document you wanna add in is an example document. This is a sales page that you've done before that's converted well if you're wanting ChatGPT to create another sales page for you or emails that you've written that have converted well if you want it to write more launch emails for you. Whatever it is that you want it to create for you, we wanna have some examples of something else that you've done before that's performed well. In addition to the examples, we also wanna have a feedback document. Your feedback document, this is, Anytime I give ChatGPT feedback or give Claude feedback, I copy and paste it and put it into a document. And the reason I do that is so that I can just upload that document instead of going back and forth again like I already did, I'm just gonna upload the document. It'll read the document and automatically know much of the feedback I would have already given it, saving me tons of time. Now let's talk about how to use this feedback to shape the chat or the GPT 
which is like a bot. So you have to give less feedback in the future and can get your content done way faster. Uploading those documents we just talked about is gonna be super helpful. If you're using a chat, you're gonna to go to where you would normally enter in the chat information and next to it on the left-hand side will be a little paper clip. You click on the paper clip and you can upload your documents right there. Then give it the prompt that you want. For example, I wanna create a sales page about whatever the offer is. Review the documents that I gave you to understand my audience and examples of what I'm looking for. Then it's gonna create it for you. You'll have to give less feedback because you already gave it examples, samples, and information about your audience and brand voice. You're gonna do the same thing if you're creating a GBT or a bot that lives in ChatGPT. You'll go to the top right where your icon is, click on it, and then click My GPTs. Then you're gonna click Create a New GPT. As you're creating the GPT, you're gonna be asked to give knowledge-based documents. Your knowledge-based documents are the ones that we just talked about, those secret documents your audience, your brand voice, samples, and examples. Upload that and you're gonna get so much faster to what you want straight from the get-go. The really cool thing about the GBT is that you don't have to keep training it. Typically, it's going to remember it and that GPT can be the bot for all your sales copy or all your emails or whatever the specific purpose of that bot is. Now, if you like this and you wanna learn more about how to make your text not sound like AI, I have a free gift for you. This is a workshop that I've developed over the last 18 months based on my years of experience as a copywriter and my time working with AI. It's gonna show you how to create your launch emails, your launch social, even your launch sales copy, all with AI and all way faster. The best part is that you're not gonna have to go through the trial and error and testing like I did to develop these outlines and these templates and these prompts. You're going to get all of mine for free. They're the same ones that I've used to have my six-figure launch and other launches too. My name is Brittany Long. Click the link that comes with this video to get the AI to 10K workshop for free.